Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love, y'all. I appreciate you all and uh, hope you're having some happy holidays, some wonderful shopping and getting some family time in. So today we have a declutter because I'm going to be, you know, moving a lot of things out of my life. You know, not saying that I'm making room for new ones, but um, these are some fragrances that have been sitting around for over a year and, and they need to go. So I haven't reached for them. I'm not wearing them. Some are too strong for me. So without further further ado, we're going to get into it. But first, I ordered some samples from Lucky Scent. Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, okay? Um, I ordered some samples from Lucky Scent, and you all know that I love the House of Giuseppe, and this, I love Cowabunga One. I have a full bottle of that. It's a really, um, like a coffee, tobacco, kiwi, melon. Uh, it's a mint scent. Like, all of those combinations are amazing together. Um, so, I decided to order Cowabunga Three as a sample, and then Cowabunga Two. I also have on my arm uh, the new Indult Juice. Juju. Um, I have that one on my hand and on my other hand I have a Jeroboam Gozo. You know you hear so much about Gozo and I think Insulo. Also out of uh, Gozo and Insulo I think I like Insulo best. It reminds me of um, By the Fireplace by Mason Margiela but um, it's By the Fireplace is a little too um, smoky for me so I do love Insulo better than Gozo. Um, but let's get into Juicette 3 first. We'll just go over these really quick. So in Juicette 3, you know, um, it has a little bit of an animalic note to me, but I do really like it. It's a gourmand. Once again, you know they are amazing for their gourmands. Um, I think there's coffee in here. There's like chocolate chip cookie. There's chocolate. There's ro There's um, sorry, not rose. There's cherry. There's freesia in here. Um, so it's a really... You know, you get the chocolate, you get like a dark cherry, like a um, like a stewed dark cherry, not a sour or bitter dark cherry, but like a canned dark cherry. You know, you get the chocolate chip cookie, you get a biscuity type smell. It's really pretty, but I'm getting something in here. I don't know if it's the cherry and the chocolate combination or something. But I really like the scent, but I'm getting a slight animalic, animalic note in here as well. There's no oud in here, no labdanum, anything like that. But yeah, I'm going to have to keep testing Juicette 3, but I really like it. I don't love it, y'all. So Juicette 2, on the other hand, um, I don't like. So Juicette 2 reminds me of one that I'm going to be decluttering today. In Juicette 2, you have some oud, you have some rose, cinnamon, you have some coffee, but it's heavy on the ooze, road, and cinnamon, you know? So this fragrance here, Juice Set 2, reminds me of this one here that I'm going to be decluttering. Um, and on with that, <laughs> uh, we'll just say, let's go ahead and declutter this. Um, this one was more like... Um, it was a real oody. When I sprayed this, when I tell you this fragrance is beast mode, it's beast. When I sprayed it, um, I pretty much got a oud, maybe a dirty oud, a sandalwood or a vanilla. It almost reminded me too, both of these. Almost reminds me of Silky Woods without the sweetness. Um, you get like a leathery, suede scent and some oud with a little bit of like um, a slight minimal amount of sweetness, vanilla, but it's really not sweet. You know, but I'm really getting some hardcore notes in here. So on that note, I am decluttering this. I absolutely love the bottle. I think this was only about $30. Um, but when I sprayed this, I smelled it on my carpet. And I sprayed it at least, you know, four or five feet up. Um, I Five feet up because that's my height. Um, I'm taller than that, y'all. But yeah, about right here. I sprayed it and it lasted for a week. And I was like, oh, no. Somebody told me to spray it and then um, go back to it. Yeah, I don't want to go. I've sprayed it twice, two or three times already. And uh, it's not for me. It's super masculine and super heavy. Um, yeah, and it smells like um, this would belong to my like Middle Eastern grandfather or something. So definitely not for me. So this will be a part of the declutter. Now, as far as... Um, Gozo is concerned. I have Gozo on this hand, and this is the new fragrance by Indult. You all know that I love Tijolta. I love Manacara, but my bottle broke in Manacara. 
Now, Gozo to me is a really sweet, smoky tuberose fragrance, but it smells real vintage, like real vintage, like maybe late 80s type um, vintage, mid to late 80s. You know, it reminds me of some of those fragrances that like Jordache or, you know, um, yeah, it just reminds me of like the, the early 80s or not late 80s, even like the early mid 80s, you know? Yeah, so on that note, um, and it also is giving me plasticky like doll head tuberose vibes. Yeah, there's a plasticky note in here, a scent that I, I don't really care too much for. If you like the note of like plastic doll head in your fragrance, you know, uh, orange, like citrusy, sweet, smoky, tuberose plastic doll head, then you're going to love Gozo. I'm so glad that I sampled this because I was this close to buying blind buying it, uh, but I'm glad I didn't. But yeah, it's vintage, y'all. It, it, it reminds me of a Cabbage Patch doll or like the little Barbie dolls or the oh, or the strawberry shortcake dolls. Maybe if she had an orange friend, you know, a mandarin friend. That's what they smell like with some tuberose, y'all. So that's that. And then we have Juju by Indolt. Um, that was Gozo. That smelled like a plasticky. I think I said that right. Now, Juju, I have on this hand. Now, Juju, there's pink pepper. This one's giving me, yeah, I don't like this one as well. You know, this is not for me. This has pink pepper. There's some bergamot. There's some um, mandarin in here. There's some jasmine in here. This is nice, but I wouldn't purchase this for myself. It's very floral, woody. It's sweet. You do get the jasmine in here, you know. But I'm getting, you know, yeah, all these fragrances um, with these. I don't know what floor. Oh, there's Lily of the Valley in here. That's what it is. That's what I'm smelling. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, um, out of all of them, I would say I would purchase uh, Cowabunga 3. Then I like um, Juju. I don't care too much for Gozo by Jeroboam. It's vintage, plasticky. And Cowabunga 2 is a no for me. So, um, yeah. Now, let's get back to the declutter, y'all. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I'm not going to go through the notes. So, I am decluttering Parada La Femme. I love the bottle. I don't love the scent. You know, I love the note of honey. But I think there's honeycomb in here. There's some really light floral scents. Um, yeah, I don't reach for it. This is not for me. Um, this is definitely an all-around scent. If you work in the hospital, if you work in an office, it's not offensive. So if you like um, this, I've decluttered this. Not decluttered. I am decluttering it. Um, I've decanted this um, a couple times. But yeah, it's not for me. So this one has to go. And this is Parada La Femme. So the next one that's leaving is, uh, I don't even, I forgot the name of this, y'all. Um, this is Angel Nova. Um, I have three Delinas. You know, I have the Delina Trio. I have um, a couple other scents that smells Atomic Rose and all those other ones with like lychee and rose and like some ouds with rose in it. Um, Royal Crown Alchemia that also smells a little bit like Delina in a way to me. Uh, but yeah, this is a really pretty scent. Very, very pretty. But I sprayed this one time in one year. So I bought this in January. So um, I'm going to find a really uh, nice home for this. Uh, maybe one of my daughter's friends or whoever is going to love this. But this is very playful, fruity, um, lychee rose, um, really sparkling type fragrance. Um, I love it, but I don't wear it. I do recommend it. Um, if this almost like a Delina dupe, y'all. An original Delina dupe, not Delina exclusive because it's not powdery. It's really fresh. So um, I do recommend this scent. Um, I love it. Uh, but I don't reach for it. I'll reach for my Delina before I'll reach for this, y'all. But budget-wise, um, if you don't want to put, uh, if you don't want to buy Delina, then I'd say buy Angel Nova. The next one I'm decluttering is uh, Paco Ribbon Olympia. Um, I have some beautiful other salty vanilla scents. This one became a little bit annoying to me. I think it's the amber inside. Uh, I like it, but I don't love it. I really, really liked it before. But now that I have all these other beautiful salty vanilla uh, spicy scents, you know, one which is, I have tons of vanilla fragrances. Uh, one which is blue turquoise that I absolutely love. I would reach for that definitely before I reach for this. Um, just a slight dent in it. I bought this at the beginning of the year. Um, so this is a declutter. A very beautiful scent though. Um, this is the original Olympia. So the next one I'm going to be decluttering and I think I've worn this one time um, in, a, 
in one year, a year and a half. Um, this is the scent and this is Hugo Boss. This is supposed to smell like a chocolatey orange, I heard. You know, initially there's some osmanthus in here that's really pretty. Um, it smells like fruity, like a fruity floral to me. Um, I don't really get anything from it, so I'm decluttering. This is Hugo Boss um, and this is the scent for her. The next one, you guys already know. I don't even want to open up the box, but it's in here. This is Ragma. Don't want it. Don't need it. Declutter. The next one I'm decluttering is, um, even though I absolutely love the bottle, and I don't want to keep stuff because of the bottle, um, and I kept this for the bottle for some months, but you know what? The fragrance inside is just not for me. It's just sitting there. Somebody else could uh, may love the fragrance. So this is Solil. Um, Lalique Solil, um, yeah, an almondy, citrusy scent that I really don't care too much for. It may be nice for you, but for me, I don't get anything from this fragrance. Does it make me happy? Does it make me feel good? Does it make my eyes roll back in my head? You know, none of that, so it has to go. So the next one um, is one that I purchased at CVS or something. This is Mishka Bagley, and this is a fruit. This is a floral scent. Um, I thought the bottle was cute, you know, uh, but I don't like the scent at all. I don't even remember what it smells like. I know that it doesn't smell good. Um, I think I got like some florals out of it, some watery florals, aquaticness from this. But yeah, I don't like it. Um, and this is just Mishka Bagley EDP. So the next one I'm decluttering, and I just bought it because I wanted to smell it, um, and it's a tester. It's Al Harmain El Aventus, and this basically smells like um, a Crete Aventus dupe, y'all. So anyway, um, this will be going to a very lovely young man, y'all. Uh, but anyway, the bottle is really nice. I've actually bought two of these, and I gave one away. It was like 30 bucks, I think. Um, but yeah, it smells just like a Crete Aventus for men, y'all. And that's a dupe for this. Once again, uh, la it's called L or La Vent La El Venture El Aventure. Here it is El Aventure, um, and it's Al Harmain, but it smells just like Rita Vince's. The next one I'm going to declutter is Sex on Fire by Julianas Parfums. I was holding on to a lot of them. I already decluttered the Delina dupe. I've decluttered the B, the Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe because I have so many other of those fragrances. Um, so Sex on Fire is Absolute Aphrodisiac by Initio. It's an amazing vanilla. It has castorium, a very animalic note in here. I don't wear this. Um, you can use this for layering, but the animalic note, the castorium in here... It's nice, but I don't wear it. So um, it's nice because of the vanilla, sorry, not because of the castorium. The castorium just brings light and richness to the vanilla. But anyway, um, this is Sex on Fire by the House of Juliana Parfums. Somebody's going to love this uh, when I give this to them. So the next one I'm finally getting rid of, and I had it in a declutter, and then I changed my mind, is Angel Muse. And this is the EDP. Yeah, um, yeah it's a really nice hazelnut fragrance, but I've never worn it. I've only tested it. Um, and um, it's nice, but, you know, I don't wear it. I'm going to go ahead and spray it. You know, um, it gives me a little bit of cologne vibe, sort of, but it's um, it's gourmandish leaning. You know, but yeah, I don't wear it. And I don't know why I'm spraying it again like I'm, I'm bargaining. <laughs> yeah, so um, this one has to go. Angel Muse EDP. So the next one is Joe Malone, uh, Vetiver and Golden Vanilla. I heard this smelled like Rose Prick, and it does give me similar vibes of Rose Prick. But this is heavy, y'all. Um, this belongs to me on a man. Uh, this is very strong. The vanilla, the vetiver. Um, yeah, it's it's real golden. It's real yellow. Um, but yeah, the scent is way too strong for me. But I would definitely, the vetiver is really rich in here uh, with a really rich vanilla. But like I said, I'd rather smell this on a man. So the next one, you guys are going to be surprised. I am... You know what? I love my Narciso Rodriguez, but I am decluttering Amber Musk. I didn't want to declutter it because I love, love, love the bottle so much. But what's the point? Like somebody else could wear this. Um, the amber in here is really pretty. But I love amber, but I don't love a super rich amber. But this amber, it's supposed to be like an amber honey orange blossom. This is a little masculine for me. So um, I'm going to declutter it. You all already know sorry, that I'm not a super huge 
I love Fruity Florals Gourmands. Um, if something smells a little more masculine to me, um, this is like real masculine. It gives me like cologne vibes. Um, but yeah, it feels like, it seems like there's something on my mouth, y'all. Anyway, I don't see anything. Oh, maybe it's this. Yeah, some sparkle something. I don't know, but anyway, yeah, I'm getting rid of, um, this is Amber Musk. Um, this is my, this is Narciso Rodriguez. Now, all my other fragrances, I have like six other fragrances by Narciso Rodriguez. Those are lifers for me, okay? So, I'm done. So, the next one, you'll be surprised. I'm getting rid of this baby. I love all of my other True Sardis. Um, I'm getting rid of this one because it's too strong for me. It's too overpowering. Um, it's, it's beast mode, y'all. And this is Evie Coli um uh via fiore chari so um this to me is it was smell it's it's giving me um really man vibes okay <laughs> but it's really strong and um even when i spray it twice um some people say this in fragrantica they said it smells a little bit like um it gives you tom ford vibes um tom ford is definitely more smoother sweeter and creamier um this one's very sharp um but yeah this one has to go um yeah this one's very strong there's like a citrusy um it almost gives me the same same vibes as narciso rodriguez amber musk but um yeah there's something sharp and the vetiver or something in here that is not agreeing with my nose and my brain so yeah it has to go but all my other true sorry these y'all i'm keeping okay you guys already know I love Passagiata. I love Limitless with the apple and the honeycomb note. Passagiata with the coffee hazelnut um, and coconut and, and um, vanilla note too. They're amazing. So the next one you'll be surprised too. Um, I've, only, I've actually never worn this. This is Montal's Roses Musk. I've sprayed this maybe twice and that's it. Um, love the bottle. I kept it for the color and everything, but I don't wear this fragrance. Now, I do love, I have other fragrances that smell like this. Um, let's see, uh, what is the one from, from bond number nine? Um, anyway, I have Alchemia. It gives me Roses Musk vibes. Roses Vanille gives me Roses Musk vibes. Um... Atomic Rose gives it like the rose of all roses. I love all those fragrances. So I'm not going to reach for this, but I'm do I'm taking most of these fragrances to me on my with me on my trip and um I'm going to bless somebody with all these fragrances, y'all. So the next one we have is Aquamotu. It's a very salty oceanic seawater. I actually bought this one by mistake because I thought this was the vanilla. I do like it, but um, I do love another fragrance that's more oceanic clean. Um, it gives me blue water vibes, and that's one that I brought over in Italy that I've talked about on other um, segments before. But y'all, this one, it's nice, but you know, I'm not going to reach for it. Another one is Vanille Blackberry. You know, um, love this fragrance. It doesn't give me much. Um, some Most of the time I wear these to bed, but I also have other beautiful fragrances that I wear to bed as well. So I'm getting rid of this one. I love, the ones that I love the most are the Vanille Banana or the Vanille Banan and the Apricot. And um, there's three, there are four other ones that I actually kept. Um, and these are by Comtoir Sud Pacific. Um, and Aloha Tiari, I'm decluttering because I just bought uh, uh, the Chant, Chant for the Nymph, which is an amazing creamy Tiari vanilla frangipani fragrance. Um, so I don't need this, y'all. Um, I'm not going to be keeping things that I don't need and that I don't love in 2022. So that's why I'm doing this haul to get rid of it out of get rid of it out of my house, um, get it out of my head. You know, I do not like clutter at all, y'all. So when I start giving things away, that means it's a problem. So it's not a problem. It's a good thing because, you know, somebody else can appreciate these fragrances. Um, yeah, and I don't need them. I don't wear them. So why keep them, y'all? Let's clear our minds, clear our hearts, clear our homes of a lot of unnecessary things that we don't need that somebody else could enjoy. So the next one, I absolutely love the bottle, but I've I haven't reached for this fragrance since I purchased it. I did sample it and I did review it a couple times. Uh, it's a really beautiful vanilla and I'm kind of like heartbroken that I'm getting rid of this because it was really hard to find. I don't know. Do I want to get rid of this? This is a really pretty vanilla. I don't know about this one, y'all. So this one might be the only one that I might keep. So I don't know. But let me go ahead and spray it. It reminds me a little bit. 
you know, of the, it's really, really pretty. It's a very unique vanilla. It reminds me, but I'm not going to wear it, so give it up, okay? Um, it reminds me of Paco Rabanne in a way, but it's a little more rich. The vanilla is better, but I love this bottle. And this is Want by D Square. Um, yeah, so this one's going to as well. Um, let's see, I'm also getting rid of some other fragrances that I decluttered already in a video, uh, but I, they were just sitting on the side, like JLo Miami Glow. You know, that was my classic statement. Um, that was my daily fragrance in my early 20s, and I bought it because it was so nostalgic, but I'm not going to wear it. So, you know, I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of um, Escada. I think it's Miami Escada. I'm taking that with me. A lot of these little Target body, um, um, not body sprays, but Target perfumes that I purchased. I'm taking those, and I wanted to do this declutter so I can pack them away in the bag and, you know, remove them, you know, and have space for a clearer head, not more fragrances, y'all. Anyway, thank you for watching my declutter. Um, and then let's go back to these fragrances. So this is Juju. Yeah, Juju still giving me the same. I don't know why these fragrances are giving me plastic, you know? You know, uh, definitely uh, Gozo definitely gives me more plastic, you know? And you said, um, two, it's still giving me oody, woody, smoky, you know, spicy vibes. And like I said, grandpa vibes. That's what that's giving me. And then you said three. I don't think I'll be purchasing any of those. Um, and that you said three is kind of giving me, yeah, chocolate, morning breath cookie, you know, I thought I loved it. I think it's the cherry note in there, y'all. That cherry note's a little different and it's giving me like a uh, breath vibes or something, you know? Yeah, so yeah, none of those. You said two, three, not Gozo and not Juju, y'all. So anyway, thank you for watching my uh, declutter and you all go out to the world, spread amazing sillage, do good, be good, all of that and happy holidays to y'all. And thank you for all of your love and support.